Hello everyone and welcome to the review of the GoPro 8 media mode. Uh, this might be uh, old news for you or maybe it's uh, uh, something new. Uh, the idea is that this was released some time ago but was only available for influencers and us mortals were not able to buy this. It was always out of stock and when it was on stock it would not ship because of the coronavirus and stuff like that so finally managed to get my hands on this to buy it and to be delivered and now we are going to take a look at it to see if it's uh, worth all that hassle or not so let's take it out of the box so it comes with some manuals and instructions here really nice and it says that it's not waterproof so don't do that with it and that you can use it with a, a floaty or something like that or a shorty or something resembling a tripod or mini pod or whatever and with the light mode and that you can still use the fingers all right and lifetime warranty you don't care about that so very generous of gopro we get one extra screw and this quick release and I'm going to show you why they have included this there's a thing that you are going to maybe not like so there's the media mode itself looks okay -ish. it has the same buttons uh, it's not the same plastic quality it's something uh, rather cheap in comparison with the camera finish uh, we have the cold mounts one on the top and one on the side and the microphone array here with the microphone facing back one in the front and we don't know if this is for design or actually has other microphones inside all right and we get this clip here and we can open this up just like that and it has this thing here which is made from silicone and kind of seals the camera although it's not waterproof the media mode is not waterproof but the camera might be protected as this is one big rubber cap that it will fill the hole in your GoPro while we'll connect the USB type C interface and that's a good thing to this one so you can charge the battery without removing this all right so Here's the camera you need to remove the the door from the camera and now it will slide in you need to take a bit of care so that the camera will line up with the connector so it will not break something and then you're done and now you have the mod media mode installed so let's turn this on And now what happens is that if you go to the recording menu and you go to the recording profile if you go down here on the mics you have new options and you have this thing so you can choose from the front microphone back microphone or rear microphone or stereo array microphones and we are going to test that okay so this is uh, with no media mode uh, with camera at uh, about uh, 20 centimeters from uh, my head uh, with noise coming mostly from the front the microphone is set on auto so uh, it uses uh, no uh, wind noise reduction or not and uh, that's the overall sound that you get now it's the media mode with uh, the front microphone enabled and my voice coming from the rear of the camera same conditions holding it in the same place and that's my voice i'm using the same volume i'm not speaking louder or, uh, or i'm trying to keep the same voice tone and the same level and that's how you get the sound 
and now with the microphone set as on uh, rear microphone priority with noise coming from the front it's the same voice at the same level holding the camera in roughly the same place about 20 centimeters from my head talking straight to the microphone with lots of noise coming from uh, the front and now still with the media mode set on stereo so no priority to front or rear noise coming from uh, my voice camera held in the same place same position and same amount of noise coming from the cars that pass in front of the camera all right so that's how it sounds with the microphones of the camera and with the media mode uh, there are some differences uh, I wanted this media mode uh, because uh, when I use the GoPro camera I often need a microphone that's facing me when I do video reviews or I have a lot of wind and the wind kind of blows into the camera and my camera is just mounted well the rear microphone will be much more better as it's protected by the wind and uh, oriented towards me and that will hopefully improve the sound a lot and I have the option to use the external microphone I currently don't have one to test that also but we'll get a microphone and test this and do a comparison with the microphones here and the external microphone and that will be really nice as you can wear a microphone and have even much more better sound quality all right now uh, let's see about the other functionality such as using the fingers which they are still functional but we have a big issue you might see this uh, thing here how it's made and on this side here the problem is you can still use normal mounts but there is a but even if you use the include this screw here this screw will kind of uh, rub here on the camera and it will not keep this straight and it's kind of offset to one side you might be able to force it a bit but it's not okay this one really rubs on the media mode so I cannot twist it anymore and now it goes okay so uh, it keeps this maybe you can see it's on this side and that's not okay and uh, they thought about this and if you remove actually if you remove the this one and use the provided clip here which is rather strange well now this will actually work and fit and it's straight so this will go millimetrically like that and it will not rub on because they added this extra thing here of plastic which offsets the screw and keep it from not going inside too much and rubbing on the media mode case so it's kind of a proprietary design or not very smart thought uh, they wanted to still use the fingers but they are offset by this a lot so you cannot use your standard equipment anymore with the media mode you are forced to use this one if you want to connect it to something else otherwise you just need to hold it like that so for instance if you have something like this very small compact a small tripod which acts also as a handle it will not work and nothing else will work only if you use this one and complicates things a lot on the pro side you don't have to buy the light mode because you can always buy a dive light then this is guaranteed for something like 30 or 40 meters uh, it's very good it's very powerful it has uh, three LEDs it has adjustable um, 
power it has to level an SOS message whatever and it's uh, it has two type of mounts the quick mount here and the normal tripod one and with the hot shoe cold shoe sorry uh, you can transform this into a light mode very easily just get this in uh, there are far more or less uh, bulky uh, models uh, I had one somewhere uh, sadly, I've uh, lost it, uh, could not find it for this review, but nonetheless, this will work here with no problems and you can easily adjust it, although it looks a bit weird. But, uh, and I have started this and that's no problem. Alright, so I have the light mode, I can even use this as a handle. <laughs> it looks stupid. Uh, Alright, but you can find an adapter here that's only that big and uh, it will look really nice and this is actually very powerful and you can go diving with it and that will make a nice combo for your camera. So that was it for now, I hope that uh, you have enjoyed this quick review of the Media Mod and you have also heard the microphones how they work, you have seen the functionality, I don't know if I'm going to ever use the HDMI, that's very good for blogging, if you are into blogging you can get the LCD uh, mod and then you can use a uh, short D handle or something like that and you can see yourself, you can frame the video better, that's a nice idea, but it's not my style and I'm not going to use that. Uh, for me the sound was very important and I didn't want to have the um, uh, cable with the wire hanging from the camera with the battery exposed so this is much better for uh, what I'm using the camera for it's actually perfect but I don't like the uh, idea of uh, still using these fingers with this and then having to adapt all my other gear just to keep the camera in uh, its position so not very smart maybe they could have integrated another set of fingers onto the external side of the mod I don't know what they thought of so until my next video see you and bye bye